Hello, I'm Angel and welcome to UWC Campus Tour. Okay, so we are going to start the campus tour from the outside. The campus has two entrances. Entrance one and entrance two. So uh, around the campus we have this water, it's very beautiful but uh, there is some residual waste in there so people don't swim but it's very refreshing when you have a bad day to go around, watch the ducks and everything. Oh, there's a duck. So you enter the campus with this magic I have right there, that's me and you just go and the whole door opens for you. In this part right here, uh, nothing happens honestly, but it's just like the entrance. You have that table. I've never seen someone there. But yeah, uh, the flags and everything, and the stairs. These stairs to go to the atrium. So here, all the students sit there. But yeah. This is called the atrium and this is usually filled up with people. People won't even fit in all these stairs and I'm going to go downside so that you see the big space that this is. This is in the main building and here is where all the classes or almost all the classes are located but we'll see that later. This is the atrium from downside. Uh, there something comes, big powerpoint and everything. But yeah, uh, why are these tables here? Because people often use it as a library, but this is the true library. So this is very silent right now. People are studying. So I'm just going to have my spot in here. And I'm going to tell you what you can find in the library. Obviously, people studying, but there is a bunch of books. Everything, also books for the school, books is for reading. Uh, there's also computers. A lot of tables and some very magnificent views to the river outside the school. In this building, we have all the classes as well. In this floor, first floor, design technology, film, and all these classes. And if you go up these stairs, you'll find all the different classes. We have the laboratory part of the school where you can find chemistry and physics. And you have just normal classes for subjects like maths, economics, and everything. And there's also another floor just up there and there you can find classes such as French languages like we have a lot of floors but we also have the e wing that thing right there those are classes as well but uh more different classes so for example uh, a lot of student-led initiatives which are like things that students want to do like MUN they are held right there in the e wing so there's a bunch of classes right there there's not many but you have to know that you can find also class. So here we have as well all the recycling part of the school. When you need to throw the garbage out of your floor, you come here and you put it wherever you have to put it. There is a lot of things and it's quite clean considering uh, it's managed by students, but yeah, it's very good. And over there, there are places to just park the bikes there are a lot in the schools because we are in the Netherlands and people in the Netherlands like to bike. So in campus there are three houses for students. Uh, first one, Kurhan House, this one. Then King William Alexander House is that one. And last, uh, Nelson Mandela House. Uh, in each house there are three floors. For each floor, 24 students. So there's a lot of people, yeah. This is how a floor looks like, more or less. So this is the common room. Uh, every floor has a bunch of sofas and an area to just hang out and talk. Uh, our floors also have fridges to store your food. This is the fridge of my room. We have some Spanish jamón over there because we know about food. And there's also a kitchen. Right now it's very messy, but uh, every floor has a kitchen to cook whatever you want. Um, floors also have a study room where people study. This is the study room of a floor. So there are a bunch of tables and some school computers, but people usually use their own laptops. We also have lights for study. 
And yeah, it's a very silent place to study. People are very respectful. You only come here if you want to study or work on whatever, but in silence. Then there's obviously the rooms, but I'm not going to make a video about that. There's a good video uh, made by uh, a floor mate called Kiara. Uh, if you want to see it, it will be linked down below. We also have the laundry room. Uh, there's an iron if you want to iron your clothes. And for every floor, there is two washing machines and two dryers so yeah there's also obviously uh, brooms and everything so yeah it's a very complete floor you can like have a very usual and normal life right here but you just need to take into account that you share everything you don't have your dryer your place to study it's just everything is shared so here we have a place to play basketball but usually there's no one but yeah this is the place or football as well but uh the goals are very small, so no one plays football. Gotta make one basket for the video. Definitely didn't take more than one attempt. Definitely. And behind everything we have this garden. It's a very cool place to chill, but to be honest, uh, there's not a lot of people around here. But uh, it's fair to say that we have a garden and plants. All of this has been made by students, so that makes it more special. Okay, so right now, I'm in the mensa. Uh, this is where we eat. It's called mensa. It's like just a dinner room. It's very big. Bunch of tables, different types of tables, and yeah, we also have tables outside. Uh, but usually, weather in the Netherlands is not that good, so we tend to eat inside, and it's usually very full. We also have a coffee machine and a piano, so it's a very cool place to eat and to chill and relax. So yeah, that's it. Uh, as you have seen, it's not a very big campus, but it's good because we do life in the city. If you want to see house life in the city, subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of content. Don't miss out on anything. And have a nice day. See you. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the video. Okay, let's go. Guys, I'm YouTube famous.